In part 6 of the Road Stakeout series, I'll be talking about uploading the data and completing your time card to finish off the stakeout job using Magnet Field 3.2. From the main screen, we'll go into Edit, Report, and then Stake Reports. And we can simply hit View on each of the road, slope, and surface reports to ensure that all the information is there. And then we can back out to the main menu. And we need to ensure that we are connected to the Magnet Enterprise Cloud. So again, log in using your Enterprise details and connect to the project that you wish to upload your stakeout data to. Once you are connected to the project, simply back out to the main screen and go into Exchange Enterprise Upload. Select the directory that we want to send it to and we simply select the file and hit Upload. And it will say upload succeeded once completed. This is just uploading the current magnet field job file, but you may wish to upload your your stakeout reports, your field report, and also your as constructed surface. And to export the other files, we'll go back to the exchange screen and go to file. We'll select stakeout reports, and this can be in a CSV or PDF format. Simply hit next and select the type to export, road, and then select the road stakeout report. And you can call it a name and save it in an appropriate directory. And we'll do this for the surface and slope as well. And we'll also export out a CSV file as well. And you can go into your file explorer and locate the files that you just exported to verify that the data has come through. We'll export the road, surface and slope in the CSV format, which is better for data going into Excel spreadsheets for quality assurance purposes. And again, you can go into the File Explorer and open up the CSV file format to verify that the data has come through. Once all three of the stakeout reports have been exported, we'll export the field report as a PDF. Select the road stakeout field report. And again, save it in an appropriate directory. Now we will go back into Exchange Enterprise Upload. And we will select the appropriate files that we need to export for our quality assurance purposes. And in this case, it is the road stakeout report and the field report. And again, select the appropriate directory to send it to and hit upload. Again, when uploading data, you need to ensure that you have an internet connection. And we need to export our surfaces, our design file and our as constructed surface. To do this, we go from the exchange screen into to file and then we select surfaces as data and the format, in this case, a 3DMC tin file and go next, select road ascon and design and go next and again, save these in an appropriate directory. Once these have been exported, we'll go into Enterprise Upload. And we'll upload the two design files and we'll upload the as constructed surface, which can be used for volume reports later on or data verification to prove that the road was set out as designed. And then once these files are being selected, simply hit Upload. And then upload succeeded. We will now fill in our time card for the work that has been completed. So we back out to the main menu and go into the magnet symbol and then time card. We can see here that there is a task road stakeout. And we enter in 
on the date that the job was conducted, the hours that it took to conduct the task, and in this case it took three hours. And when you hit submit, it will come up with 75% complete. And you can go up into the magnet symbol and hit schedule. So we can see the schedule for the day was that one task. This means that in Magnet Enterprise, the project manager has said the task should take four hours to complete, but we know that we have fully completed the task, so we'll manually type in 100% and then submit this data. This way the project manager knows that this job has been 100% complete and we do not need to go back to site. Once you have filled out your time cards, it is good practice to inform the project manager you have completed the job. To do this, we can send them a chat by going to the magnet symbol and then chat and then create new. We can then go across to the chats tab and we can go to recent. We you can give them a brief message of why the job was quicker than expected or took longer than anticipated. And once you have typed message, simply hit send. And then you can wait for a reply. And if you don't wait in this screen and you're on the main screen, you'll see the magnet symbol will change with a little one and a message symbol that will flash every second to let you know you have a new message come in from chat. Now this road stakeout job is 100% complete, you can return to the office and this concludes part 6 of the road stakeout series.